So what are these popular anti-aging skin products and why are they so effective at reducing fine lines, wrinkles, and age spots? Well, the active ingredients in both vitamin C and hyaluronic acid are proven to prevent and repair free radical damage to the skin, protect against UV sun damage, and stimulate collagen production. When applied topically, all of these benefits add up to a potent anti-aging solution that's used to combat and even reverse the signs of aging on your face. Vitamin C serum and hyaluronic acid serum are branded and sold separately in their own right, although some manufacturers cleverly combine the two ingredients into one all-encompassing product. The length of time from when you start using the serums until you see results varies with each person. While some people notice changes in their skin texture as soon as three to four weeks of consistent use, it may take others a little longer. Given the rapid rise in popularity of both vitamin C serum and hyaluronic acid serum over the past few years, it's no surprise that the market for these anti-aging cosmetics has exploded. Yet while some products are extremely effective at creating a youthful and rejuvenated appearance, the vast majority promise way more than they can actually deliver. Certain cosmetics may even cause more harm to your skin than good. So how do you pick the right vitamin C and hyaluronic acid products with such a vast selection to choose from? Well, before considering anything else, the very first thing to check is the percentage concentration of each ingredient within their respective serums. For example, there's no point buying a bottle that is marketed as vitamin C serum when vitamin C is listed as one of the smallest components of the product. Conversely, too much vitamin C in a bottle can cause allergic reactions. It's also unlikely that your skin will be able to absorb as much of the antioxidant. The golden rule is, of course, to check before you buy. And if the percentage concentration isn't advertised, it's worth contacting the manufacturer to find out. For vitamin C serum, you should ideally opt for a bottle that contains between 10 to 20% vitamin C. And for hyaluronic acid serum, a concentration of between 2 to 4% hyaluronic acid is generally regarded as the most effective. Other factors to consider are the stability of the ingredients, the pH level, and the durability of the packaging, particularly for vitamin C serum, which can oxidize without an airtight, UV-protected bottle. If in doubt, take a good look at the customer reviews online, paying particular attention to what others say about the overall absorption rate of each product and how quickly it penetrates the skin. When you first begin using either vitamin C serum or hyaluronic acid serum, a little stinging and mild irritation is completely normal. For most people, this will subside as you get used to the treatment, although there are exceptions, and if the irritation persists, you may need to downgrade to a less potent serum to make it more tolerable. Likewise, some products containing high levels of silicones and fillers can be problematic for women with acne-prone or sensitive skin. In this case, we recommend using the serums sparingly or discontinuing their use completely if you suffer breakouts. On the whole, however, the side effects from using either vitamin C serum or hyaluronic acid serum are mild, assuming you have done your research and bought a high-quality product and provided you allow your skin time to gradually adjust to each serum you can generally avoid complications. If, after a few months of consistent use, you're still not happy with the results, you may wish to switch to an alternative product. But before doing so, please make sure your lack of progress is not a result of something closer to home. What most people don't realize is that only 25 to 30% of the skin aging process is genetically determined. This means that you can control the rate of fine line and wrinkle formation on your skin way more than you might have thought. Of course, it's vitally important to use the most effective anti-aging cosmetics available while protecting your skin from harmful UV rays. A healthy diet and regular exercise are also essential to maintaining a youthful complexion, and smoking and alcohol consumption should of course be limited. Yet despite the widespread recognition of the above, there is still one huge mistake that millions upon millions of women and men across the world continue to make in their fight against premature aging. They have never learned how to cleanse properly. It seems too simple to be true, but making just one or two minor changes to your cleansing regime can prevent years worth of wrinkles, sagging skin, and pigmentation issues, no matter what else you do to combat the signs of aging.
What I'm about to show you is our best practice cleansing regime, a simple, step-by-step -step process for cleaning your face without causing unnecessary dryness, irritation, or inflammation. Of course, we are all different, and what works well for the majority of people might not necessarily work so well for you and your skin. That said, you will never experience the full anti-aging benefits of any cosmetic product without proper skin cleansing. So please listen carefully, as you may be inadvertently damaging your appearance every single day without even knowing it. Step 1. Using makeup wipes, gently remove any eyeliner, mascara, and foundation, ensuring your face is completely clear of makeup. This first step is only necessary in the evening when you'll want to remove everything from the day off your skin, including SPF sunscreens. Step 2. Now wash your hands thoroughly with a mild soap to remove any excess dirt and bacteria. If you skip this step, the residue from your hands will be transferred to your face. Step 3. Place a small, coin-sized amount of cleanser on the palm of your hands. Use a lightweight, pH-balanced cleanser that is not too strong or abrasive on your skin. Never use soap on your face as this is likely to strip away your skin's natural oils. Step 4. Moisten your skin with a few drops of lukewarm water, then lather the cleanser and gently apply to your face. Use your fingertips in a circular motion, remembering that your jawline is not the finish line. Apply an equal amount to your neck and décolleté. Step 5. Now rinse the cleanser thoroughly, remembering to rinse commonly missed areas such as your hairline, neck, and the sides of your nose. Use lukewarm water only. Rinsing your face with cold water to close your pores is a myth. Water that is either too hot or too cold will only shock and irritate your skin, causing broken capillaries. Step 6. Using a soft, clean towel, Gently pat your skin dry. Rubbing can feel really good, but it tugs and pulls your face and neck, which puts your elastin at risk. This is the final step of your cleansing regime. For best results, we now recommend applying a lightweight natural toner to your skin, such as Poppy Austin Pure Rose Water. This will help to calm inflammation, as well as balance, refresh, and hydrate your face and neck. Now to maximize absorption and help seal in moisture, apply vitamin C serum or hyaluronic acid serum immediately after cleansing and toning while your skin is still damp. Waiting until your skin is completely dry will make it harder for the active ingredients within the serums to sink in. Follow with a high quality natural moisturizer such as Poppy Austin Barbary Fig Seed Oil or 100% Pure Argan Oil. Finally, and most importantly, add a good quality broad spectrum sunscreen over your entire face and neck in the morning only. This will help to protect your skin from the sun's harmful UV rays now and wrinkles and hyperpigmentation in the future. You can then apply your makeup and head out the door with smooth, glowing skin that is ready for the day ahead.